<clears throat> Boy, howdy. Do I love Super Mario Kart? I sure love how the game doesn't take anything it does too seriously when it comes to the gameplay or the, like the music or anything like that. It's just Mario Kart. It's just a fun, happy time. It doesn't have to be anything special or crazy or insane. It's just Mario Kart. Like, come on. Can't, can't go wrong with that. Yep, yep, there. My pants are cream. Okay, before I start talking about probably one of the most important discussions we should be having today in this day and age, video game music, I... I have to preface it with something. Right now, I'm I'm 16 years old. I'm not a music theory expert. I'm not gonna sit here and analyze every single song from every single video game and, you know, analyze what's, why it's good or whatever. I mean, there's already a YouTube channel for that. So, you know, I'm just gonna sit here and be like, yo, this is a song that all of you guys have been sleeping on. What is wrong with you? Go to hell. I'm pretty, I'm, I think I'm like kinda open with my music taste too. I'm like, if I hear something, I'm not gonna be like, blasphemy. No, I'm just sitting here like, okay, it's a good song, you know? And I'm actually starting to expand my taste a little bit. Like, I haven't listened to Tyler the Creator or something I n ayo, ayo, ayo. never listened to. I don't, I'm not, I'm not even in that, like, con I'm just like not in that. But like, dear God, my Spotify playlist is literally 200 songs of just. <laughs> And then, like, maybe a couple songs that are like, I have sex with my doll. I'm just gonna go back to Tyler, the creator. Uh, then I have the video game songs in there. Like, I think I owe a lot of my love for music to video games. I think that's what kind of helped. What? Well, uh, Undertale music? Pokemon jazz cover? What is this? Tr what, what is this trash? Are you, are you, are you, a, are you a gamer? Look, I'm definitely read up on my gamer knowledge. I played a couple video games. And so, knowing the music of the video games comes hand in hand with that. So I don't expect all you guys to know all the video game music if you haven't played video games before, but I'd still, I still think it's kind of sad when the spiciest meatball ever is an obscure Game Boy game that came out sometime in the 90s and it's like, came out in Japan only and only a couple people played it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I landed on this, this, the, the floor too loud, so my dog's like, <gasps> There's so much music that are from video games. Like, there's this one. This one. And video game music isn't really a genre, I guess. I mean, it's more of just like a, like a, a group of music that, they don't have to be related in any way, but there's just, oh, they're in a video game. For example, listen to this. This sounds like a video game song, right? Well, listen to this one. It doesn't sound like a video game song, though. So, what is it, a video game song? Video game music, it can truly be whatever it wants. It can be intellectual <laughs> jazz music, or it can be just... And that's what's so great about it, man. It is a little something for everyone. But it definitely makes sense how a lot of this music can just like, just yeet under people's radar, because honestly, a lot of it doesn't need to be outside of the community that the game is, is, is being surrounded by, you know, or just the video game community in general. Like, if it's a good song, then it's not gonna be like, oh yes, I love the new, new Donk City music. <sighs> Put that up right next to Drake. Ed Sheeran has a new song? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but is it as good as the new Sonic music? New Kirby song came out. I wonder if it will be Miley Cyrus on the top chart. Let's talk about the history. Don't we all love history? Don't you love that? Back in the day with the Atari or whatever the crap, we had some del just delightful music, you know? Just... Mm. Oh. Oh. But then Nintendo just went... Yeet! And swinging, bro! With Super Mario Bros. This game just had bops everywhere. Like, every song in this one game had so much great music. And that's kind of why it blew up, I'm sure. The theme song would get stuck in little kids' heads, and so the little kids would buy more merchandise. That is how it works. And Nintendo just, like, overuses the Mario music all the time, so surely it was written pretty well. I 
I'd say this is like the true start of video game music because when Mario made their spicy meatball, everyone was just like, oh, we, have, we have to have catchy music with our iconic character, uh, S uh S Sonic. Sonic! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, you go, that's the song right there. And I'm sure there was like some obscure game that nobody played that came out before Mario Bros, but shut up. You also got you also you also got you also gotta give credit to Zelda, you know, that had a spicy tune. Gotta give credit to this and this and this one and this one and this one. These tunes are pretty yummy, you know, but like you you can't lie, it's a little limited, you know? They're just they're, the tunes are just like four tracks or something like that with the sound effects and they had to like, just keep looping over and over so you know very limited but you know, it's, it's a creative tippy bridge limitation you know that's how the saying goes so yeah we had the mario theme it's pretty good but then we had the next mario theme Ooh, the next mario theme kind of improved a lot you can actually hear like notes this time Ooh, on oh, the next mario theme god damn some good music and then the next video game console came out from nintendo and then For once, music in the video games didn't sound so crusty. It didn't sound like the fourth period fire alarm nobody asked for. It sounded like some some, cr some smooth... J there was also the Genesis system, you know? The one that had Sonic on that. Yeah, that one. That one had pretty good music too, but on like a, a scale of 1 to 10 on the E-rate meter, I'd give it like a solid... Maybe a solid three. And fun fact, did you know that Sonic the Hedgehog 3's soundtrack was originally going to be composed by Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. Well, you know, it never happened because Michael Jackson listened to that Genesis sound chip and was just like... Oh, I won't lie, though. I think they stole his ideas. Yeah, that's a little weird, but anyway, next console generation, the N64, the Sony PlayStation or whatever, it's whatever it came out. Mario 64, the next big boy Mario game, pretty important, right? Came out. The music. They, they just went all out with the music again. They just bring in, the, 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 you know, they still loop and stuff, but like, it sounds better, and it's it's just like god tier music. Like, I freaking, freaking, I don't know what to say. Like, Nintendo's just really good at making simple melodies that loop over and over with little doots and beeps. It's like, it's pretty impressive. They don't need a goddamn orchestra. They just need, they just need beeps and boops. I mean, Nintendo's just the king of making music for their video games. Think of Star Fox 64. Think of Mario Kart 64. Think of Yoshi's Story. Okay, that one's that one's okay. And then Konami went through and made a movie game, bro. They made a game that's like a movie, so it had movie music. Anyway, let's turn the page already. We got the Xbox, the PS2, and the GameCube. This is like the early 2000s, you know. None of, none of the technology is like ancient anymore. It was 19 years ago. Sorry. But, but you know the mini music is still there sometimes the little beeps and boops are still around But then all of a sudden there's just like Okay, then this is this, this is from a Kirby level from Mario 64 to Mario Sunshine You know the music did sound better obviously new system better graphics or whatever and good better sound <gasps> Okay, it's fine. It's somewhat better. Not like a huge leap or anything compared to something like yes. Oh, oh boy, okay. And then we've just had this for like the rest of time, you know. We've had the beeps and boops come back still. We've had some even older style beeps and boops that come back for a retro style game released in the current era. But then we also have the orchestrated masterpieces. But the really cool thing about video game music is that there's so much beeps and boops that are just ready to be expanded, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just have not been kind to Yoshi. Uh, uh. Think about it. There's the Mario theme. Do 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 do. Like yeah, you know we know it. It's fine. But then there's the spicy jazz version of Mario Bros. theme. And there's so much of this. You can find so many dedicated channels of just remaking or re remixing music from video games. It's crazy. But you may be asking yourself, why? 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 Why do people care? Well. 
it's because lots of people, lo lots of people played these games when they were but a wee lad. And since they were a wee lad, they were very emotionally attached to these video games that they did, they did play. So, you know, if I played, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Up the video game, I played that game when I was a wee lad. Playing that game as a wee lad has made me somewhat attached to the said game just because I played it when I was a wee lad. It's probably ass. I haven't played it in a long time. And sometimes those video games you're attached to can be really good and have good music. And sometimes they can be... When we were stuck on these video games for hours and hours because we sucked because we were five, literally the music was drilled into our brains and, you know, like, it was kind of hard for that not to happen. Like, of course I remember the music from Mario Galaxy 2 from the, that green robot thing that had And you know, the composer did a good job when you're sitting here 20 years later filing your taxes and then all of a sudden you're just like- but what would good video game music be without the bad one? Okay, there are three levels of the video game scale. There is the good music. The, this is background music music. And the hot garbage music. Oh yeah, and I forgot, there is also an S tier ranking to this music scale. Uh, I call it the S tier God tier status. Okay, I think I, I, I've said all I need to say. All I'm saying is that listen to your video game music. If you're playing a video game, listen to the music. Be like, okay, yeah, this is some pretty zesty, zest, zesty jams, you know? You don't have to go on YouTube and type in, uh, Mario Galaxy soundtrack. No, stop yourself. I recommend you play the game, actually, but, you know, you can definitely look, just look in the comments of these, these music extensions and be like, And I'll have a bunch of bunch of spicy meatballs in the description below if you want to check those out. Some video game spicy tunes. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to watch as this video gets copyright claimed. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, thanks for watching this video. It's pretty pretty cool, right? Um, I'm glad you listened all the way through my my rant about video game music. See, now you can especially tell how little life I have. It's great. Um, yeah, uh, I plan to up uh, implement like some kind of s upload schedule. Um, as dumb as that sounds, because uh, so far we've not done that, and it's been like a year and a half since we started this guy creates thing. Um, yeah, I've, that's kind of surprising though. Like we've made like f like six videos total or something like that, and we have like oh we've uploaded uploaded for like a year and a half, which is kind of weird. Um, so I want to upload more because you know. Since we're doing it for kind of a long time, not a long time, but a decent amount of time, we should probably, like, pick up the pace maybe a little bit, you know? Because I don't want to be like, it's like 10 years later and I've made like 10 videos. Like, you know, come on, like, I don't know. This thing might not even last forever, you know? Because, you know, sometimes I might move on to something more creative. Something, well, I mean, this is creative, but like more creative endeavors, like music or something crazy like that. I mean, it's insane, you know? Because people do that on YouTube. But yeah, thank you for watching this video all the way through. Um, appreciate it immensely. You're a god. Uh, no matter what anyone else, uh, no matter what anyone else says, you're you're the best. You're a god, and you can uh, you can do whatever you want really in the world if you put your your big brain into it. I believe in you. I love you.